Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Chile getting completely owned by a judge and being ordered to pay over $1,600 of monetary sanctions. Also, we'll be taking a look at the very unsavory return of the creepiest frauditor out there, Wright's Ruckus Revolution. If you're not familiar with this guy, he made the news because he was lurking around schools trying to record the kids. Very, very disturbing individual. And unfortunately, now he's back harassing firefighters. But before we get into that, I wanted to talk about a serious problem that's going on, especially the last couple of weeks when it comes to doxing from frauditors. And that brings us to the sponsor of today's video, Aura. If you've been part of the community for some time, you know that we have a serious problem with frauditors doxing viewers. Especially last year, we had issues with frauditors going in the comment section and attempting to reveal private information of people that were supporting the anti-frauditor channels. They were revealing private information such as names, addresses, and date of births with the intent to bully and intimidate. Luckily, now we have a solution to prevent that from happening again. Aura automatically scans the clear web and the dark web for any mentions of your private information. If your private information is located, it sends a removal request on your behalf to keep your identity safe. Aura gives you access to an identity plus credit monitoring, a password manager, an antivirus protection, a military grade virtual private network, home title monitoring, data broker removal, all for the low price of 12 bucks a month. It's a one-stop shop for your digital security. And the best part is that you can now try Aura for free with a 14-day trial with my link that's available in the description and in the pinned comment. If you live in the United States and you want to protect your identity and at the same time help the channel, use my link in the description. Now back to the video. So first, let's talk about Chile. So Chile has this lawsuit against a bunch of YouTubers, Blue Bacon, Team Skeptic. It's complete bullshit, obviously. It's just to harass and just to waste people's time and waste people's money, most importantly. And it looks like he got spanked by the judge here. So it reads, Defendant Michael Pieratini's motion to compel responses to form interrogatories and requests for sanctions is granted. Plaintiff Jose de Castro is ordered to serve the responses without objections and pay monetary sanctions in the amount of $1,635 within 30 days of service of the order. Pieratini is ordered to submit the proposed order in accordance with CRC Rule 3.1312. So once again, the constipational law scholar is proven to be an idiot that is completely clueless. Now, I don't follow Chile that much, but I found this interesting and I wanted to bring it to you guys. Now, let's talk about the creepy frauditor rights ruckus revolution. So he did a very unsavory return. He was gone for three months after being completely decimated by our community and even his community, like Audit the Audit, completely annihilated him. And unfortunately, he's back, and now he's harassing firefighters. How's it going, everybody? Riot Struggles Revolution coming back at you with another one. We're back in Monroe for this video. Uh, we've seen that they got their fire engines out, and every other fire department we've ever visited has been oh so kindly to give us a little tour. Uh, let's see why these guys have not returned any of my phone calls, allowed me access into their building, and told me that this is not considered a public building. Today is Sunday, March 3rd. Looks like they're grilling out. Looks like they're out here having a cookout. Set the 225. They have this door propped open. Engine 61 on Ops 3. 
got the basketball hoop. They just stood up and walked away. But they, it looks like they have a little tennis thing that they got playing right here. They play tennis in there. Is there something you need help with? Is there something you need help with, sir? What was your name? Don't worry about my name. You need to get off the property. I'm not going to leave the property. Can I get your name? This is public property. Can I get your name? You're a public servant. Are you going to deny me your name? We're also leaving out of emergency. Don't get you around the station. I'm sorry? You don't know how to react when a citizen comes to your fire department? Looks like you don't even know how to work the door. Ba -ba -bum. He said, you need to get off the property. This guy is really pushing the boundaries of being a total creep. First, he tries to record kids in the school without an appointment, without a purpose, just to work on a fictional story. Now he's trying to harass firefighters who actually save lives for a living. Like, what is wrong with you? And when you think about it, his username, his YouTube handle, represents him very well. Writes ruckus revolution. Obviously, he's trying to cause a ruckus, a type of revolution based on anarchy or some shit, because this doesn't make any sense. Why would you harass firefighters? I'm not going to get off the property. This is a public property. Kind of, kind of beverage is that? Oh, energy. Okay, I'm just making sure. That's why we do our due diligence, you know. Make sure they're not drinking on the job. So look, this looks like I have to key card in right here, but it doesn't say anything about no trespassing, uh, authorized personnel only, private property, restricted area. Uh, so if I were to go to grab on this door handle and pull it open, you guys can see it's open. So we're going to have to, I guess, have a formal discussion about that. Because I remember one time they said they had somebody come in through the back. Uh, that's what, that's when I was actually here the last time. They were like, we had somebody run in through the back. I don't know what, what it necessarily pertained to. You guys have your back door open. The fire department calling the police? Don't call the police, tell me, fire department. P -p 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 please. These guys don't know how to handle their job. They're supposed to be tending to a call, I believe. I believe they're supposed to be tending to a call. How much time are they going to waste before they roll on out of here? Like an Autobot. Have you guys watched my YouTube channel? Clearly, he's suffering from some delusions of grandeur. I mean, the guy has 642 subscribers. His biggest video when he got trespassed from the school, got 17,000 views, yet he's expecting some random strangers to know about his YouTube channel? Dude, you're not Mr. Beast, you're not Charlie from Penguin Zero, you are a nobody on YouTube, and a nobody in real life. It's like they get a handful of views and all of a sudden they think they're a celebrity. Wake up, dude, and snap back to reality.
Why is your guys' back door unlocked? It's latched open. You guys should probably get that closed. It kind of looks like a secure door. It has a keypad you're supposed to key into. Looks like some sort of access code. It doesn't say no trespass on authorized personnel or anything like that on it, though. It's actually, I think, believed to be open to con consider to the general public. You guys might want to close that door if you don't want nobody just walking in there. They're waiting on their friends, their very best of friends. So I'm, I've stayed in this little grass line right here. These guys got a call as I was making my way past their little grill, grill area. And uh, they didn't even notice I was back there. I was recording their little area where they play all their their games and stuff. It's not video games. It's like table tennis or whatever the fuck it is. They probably, they probably play handball. I, I see this guy right here being a good handballer. He looks like he plays handball real well. See? They got me locked out. For station 631, Bros. Silver Key. Hi, uh, this is Mr. Taylor. I'm up here at the fire department trying to do a little uh, public access tour of the fire department. I'm sorry? I'm at the fire department. I'm trying to do a public access tour of the fire department. This is William Taylor. Okay. Tell you what, uh, they're out to talk to you right now. I got some officers come talk to you. Oh, they're coming? There's some officers in route. Oh, buddy. All right. I'll see them when they get here. Their officers are in route. They called the cops on me, everybody. They're cop callers. They're snitches. They don't like nobody here. They hate the public. You guys hate the public. You guys are supposed to help them, not hate them. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? You guys hate the citizens? We're not allowed to come and record you? Can't stand my camera, can you? I'm just trying to do a public access tour. It's a public building, right? You guys are a joke. A joke. You're gonna you're gonna have to trespass me from the fire department. And that wouldn't be too good. Think about trespassing a citizen from the fire department, what that would look like somebody that wasn't allowed to come to the fire department in the event of an emergency. That'd be awful. First of all, you are not a regular citizen whatsoever. You are an agitator, a cloud goblin who is only there to harass and make a shitty YouTube video. So there wouldn't be any outrage if they were to trespass you. Also, keep in mind that throughout the video, he's going to say that I've been to many other fire stations and they always let me do a tour, but yet he refuses to post any evidence of that. Here they are. They got the super troopers coming. Let's roll them out. You guys know what it is? Rights Ruckus Revolution coming back at you live action with another one. It's March the 3rd. We're out here. Oh yeah, brother. Oh yeah. 
We got another one. We got another one. Number two. Woo, baby. Come on. Live action. Number three. We got three cops for one camera. Three cops for one camera. Come on, live action. This is going to go viral. Come on. If you guys are watching it, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a couple comments and let me know what you guys think of these fire fighters right here. These guys are jokes. They're supposed to be out here saving lives. And instead of doing that, they'd rather call the police on one guy with one camera. So let's go see what they're talking about. How's it going, brother? What's up? Uh, we just got called out here. They said they didn't want you over by their department. Um, well, it's public building. Yeah, obviously. You're, so I'm you're allowed welcome. to be over there. You're welcome uh, to be on the I, sidewalk. The last time I was out here, mm -hmm. the way they treated me, they said that I, I wasn't allowed to come into their fire department, essentially. Okay. I've been to multiple fire departments since that visit. Okay. I've requested to do a tour formally. Yeah. I've spoke to people there to request to do that tour. Okay. I'm here to do that tour right now. Okay. So, set up a time for it? I, I already have attempted to multiple times. Okay. So I'm going to stay on the property. And if you guys want to trespass me from the fire department for peace, peacefully exercising my rights, bring it on. So they have a lot of protected information in there. So that no, they don't. They no, they don't. It's their obligation to protect it. It's a public building. Okay. It's not. It's not my obligation well, to protect. Well, if you were to go through our entire police department, right? So you can be on. There, right. there she is. Okay. So this one's going to be a good one. Okay, listen. It's the same same deal. If you were to go to our police department, I'll go. You want me to come to your police department next? Doesn't matter to me. It's your right to go wherever. Oh, you're you want damn to go. right it is. Okay. So, if you're to go Garrison, back there, you know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. What I came out here to, to. I'm making a point. This what is point, this is a point. That what I'm, point are you making? I'm allowed to be at this fire department. They should have never called the fucking. Fi they should have never called the police on one guy with one camera. You guys respond three deep. Wyckoff comes out here. She doesn't even know how to give out her name when asked. But you guys send the people out here that are supposed to serve and protect. You guys don't even know how to do your fucking job. We're just out here talking with you, dude. That's it. Yeah, I'm about to roast you guys though. What's up, Wyckoff? How are you? So he says he's about to roast them. I mean, flipping the bird like a teenager is not really a roasting. What you're doing actually is roasting yourself by showing how immature you are. I mean, this guy is literally the definition of a village idiot. Okay, so it's the same deal as going to our police department, right? There are certain areas that are restricted. It's the same deal for them. Okay, come on. They have follow, follow me. Follow me. You ready? I, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. No. You, don't, you don't want to come with me? No. Because their door back there has a key code on it. Has a has a bat, uh, like a little pad yeah, you would type. It's protected, so nobody can go in there. But it's latched open. It's unhinged. Anybody could walk up and jerk it open. There's no well, sign that says... Do that. That's their problem that that door is unlocked. Okay. So are you planning to do that or why are you bringing that up? It's a safety concern. Okay, well I can bring it up with them, that way they can make sure it's shut so nobody can get in there. Maybe they should be more worried about, worried about that than worried about me with my camera, just well, peacefully walking about. Obviously, they don't know who I am. They they have no clue who I am. I don't know. I didn't come here and they didn't take me down to Norwood. You guys didn't take me well, down yeah, to Norwood. There's a lot of people that don't know who you are. Yeah, you guys okay. don't know it's who a I am. City. I'm not saying that I don't know. These guys know exactly who the fuck I am. You guys know exactly who the fuck I am. Obviously you made a lot of contact. You don't know who I am? Oh, uh, I know you're a bitch. Yeah, you've never seen this side of Willie, have you? Willie's on one. I've seen it a few times. Is there any reason that you're upset today? I'm just tired. I don't like this fucking fire department. Okay. Well, I probably wouldn't go there if you don't like them. I want access to their fire department. Okay. There's certain. It's my right. It's my right as a citizen. Go. My right as a citizen. Okay, but I'm, what I'm saying is, obviously, we've, we've had a lot of contact with them, right? Okay, am I being detained? Stupid motherfuckers! He's a storyteller motherfucker, he is. What'd you guys call and tell them? There's a big bad guy with a big bad camera? Did you say that to him? 
Did you say Mr. Taylor has his big bad camera out here? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he looks pissed. Oh, he looks pissed. The fact that he thinks that the cop is going to be pissed or butthurt because the frauditor is flipping him off, that just shows how small-minded he is. Cops have to deal with that on a daily basis. Words are just words. Gestures are just gestures. You know, they couldn't give a shit. They get spit on, they get bitten, they get shot at. You think flipping the bird is gonna do anything? Flipping the bird is pretty much the most insignificant thing you can do to a cop. He's like, how dare him challenge my authority, my tyranny. Look at her with her pretty pink nails. Yeah. I'd put away all your little games and shit too. Make it look like you guys are acting real professional. That's what I would do too. Hide all your little games. Good job. You guys voting for Biden? So was, did you guys get the 911 call or did they did they call non-emergency at least? Because I'm gonna get the CAD. I'm I, I'm gonna open records request it. Was it an emergency call or was it non-emergency? Good. I'm glad they just at least decided to call non-emergency on the guy with the camera. Oh, how's it going, Lockett? You doing all right? I'm here exercising my rights. Well, actually, the back door they have unlocked, and I, th I thought that was quite concerning. I didn't try to go inside of it. I thought that it was quite the concern. I went inside here, this little vestibule that they have as a public entrance. They ha it says, press the silver key for station 61. Yeah. I did that. They answered. You guys answered down there at the police station, actually. Spoke to dispatch. Uh-huh. Yeah, when I, when I hit the silver button, so. Well, they got to get that fixed then. Okay. But, I, I, but I do, I would like access to the, the public fire department. The last time I was here, they told me I had to schedule an appointment. I've tried 10 times. They haven't ex accepted any or returned any phone calls I've made. I've sent them letters and shit. They don't respond formally. I visited probably 10 other fire departments since my last visit here, and they've let me walk through without a, without a question. Okay. They brought me in on Sunday and said, please, yeah, like, oh, man. Well, you let me finish. We don't go into the fire department. Listen. You guys have said, you guys have said every time I've came here, they guys, they have some sort let me finish. Let me finish. Let me explain my part because you want to go inside. Let me finish. I don't say at the fire department, so we have to go in and see what areas they have public. So if they have something in there that's restricted, then they can do that. You that that, that door, that door, or whatever, there, that it has to be labeled. Correct. That's why I'm asking. I don't know what nothing in there looks so like. So that so that back door so that they have I, has a key. There's I a have key to code. Go talk to them. I don't even know the key code. Uh, no, I'm saying they they, they they just left it unlocked. Okay. That's a safety concern. I told Oh, that should be. Are you trying to make an appointment? What are you trying to do? I've, I've tried to make appointments. They don't accept any. If, if they'll let me come in right now, do my little video, I'll be in and out five minutes so out of their hair. areas that you know you can't record in there because it's not public. If they have something in there that's not that's accessible to the public. Look, I've been to like 10 different fire departments. Yeah, I believe you. They took me to their work, their little areas where they have their locker rooms. Okay. They've let me see inside their. So he's been to 10 fire departments, but yet. I don't even see one video of that on his channel, not even one. If you've been to 10 fire departments and you want to show everything that has to do with First Amendment audits, even positive ones, why isn't it on your channel? It's probably because it's bullshit and it didn't happen. Little... Well, see, some of them might do that just to, you know... No, you're, this one has claimed that they have some sort of co confidential okay. or med medical information okay. or something. I've been informed. Who did you speak with? I've been informed that it is their job to keep that information sensitive, if okay. it's sensitive. Who did, the, who did you speak with? I don't have to let you know that. Okay, but you spoke with somebody here. That's what I'm saying. 
Because if you smoke with somebody here and they're not doing it, then we need to know that. Not doing not doing what? Whatever you're saying, they're not allowing you to do. It, yeah, if they're not going to allow me entrance into their public building. So I'm asking you who told you that. You I, spoke, you I, spoke, I, I think it was the assistant chief or the okay. chief. He said I had to do it by appointment. I tried to show up and do it. You guys sent out all your officers the last time I was here. Oh, I, you were here before? Yeah, yes. yes. Right. You stay up here, I might, I might, I might just wander around this public building. They got four cops, four one camera. Did the, did the officer that was over at the premium outlets let you guys know that I was back in Monroe and I waved to him and said hi? Oh no, uh uh. What about when I went, when we drove past your police station and I flicked the whole PD off? Did you guys see that? Nope. Oh. Yeah, this door right here has a key code right here on this side. But this right here, these little, whatever the prongs are, were on the opposite side, and it was latched open. I could have easily entered if I wanted to, Okay, is what my point is. Okay. No, they just went out on a call, so. And it's Sunday. I doubt they let you make an appointment on a Sunday. This is a public building. Well, yeah. So just the fact that they had the areas open, uh, like that door right there, for instance, and it not being properly labeled, you would have to look for that key code or the, the if you didn't see that, you would just open it up and that's not the public's fault. These doors right here may be locked, but I'm allowed to do the same thing you just did and check to see if they are because yeah, there's I mean, nothing. I mean, well, no, I'm just saying. Into like, if you That's my job, though, is the, the semantics. Well, that one that was actually latched open, I didn't want to pull on the handle because I didn't want them to say I tried to enter a restricted door or what they thought was restricted. I've been to schools where they also have doors that are supposed to be secure doors and they've left them latched and I did not pull on those as well. Oh yes, we know very well that you've been to schools and you've been trespassed from them because you are a total creep. Who would want a random guy with a camera and drug convictions walking around a school unattended? That is ridiculous. And luckily, the cops and the personnel there did the right thing and trespassed him. Good. Hurry it up and get across so that way they can get through here. Fucking idiots. They left the girls to handle the big boy work. Why'd they do that to you guys? What? They left the girls to handle the big boy's work. We got this. You got it? So you said last time you came here they said by appointment only? To they told me the last time I was here that it would be best for me to make an appointment that they didn't have the resources available to let me do my tour. They, they, they were understaffed that day. I tried my best to comply. I said, okay, I'll do it however you want me to do it. I've tried 10 times to contact and say like, hey, why didn't you accept my... Am I allowed to come in too? One sec. One but if they're not rolling out, if they're not in the event of an emergency, this is a... Wait, one minute. We're, oh, we're gonna go okay, out. okay. 
This is public. Who's the supervising officer here? Are you the supervising officer? No, it's me. You? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Did you get promoted? No, nope, he's in charge tonight. Oh, wow. You, you used to be the officer on charge for night shift. What's What happened? She came to the shift. Oh. She got more seniority than me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you can call Amy? She's the one that will help you make an appointment. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great information because I think that's unacceptable. 100%. Unprofessional. Unrealistic, unprofessional. You guys have, like, I'm giving them so many opportunities to just let me come in and record, and they just want to deny every, every single opportunity. They got nobody that can execute some sort of facilitated tour. You just seen the truck in the minute yeah. just go out. They have nobody. It's Sunday. They have nobody. Nobody. No, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. There's zero people in here right now. Zero. I didn't go in there, but they all jumped in there and yeah. jumped out there. Yeah, they got an engine gone and a squad out. Yeah, they're so where's the chief at? The... Where's the chief at? I don't know where the chief is. Where's the assistant chief at? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, we're the police. Yeah. We're not the medics. So why did they call you guys? I don't know. I don't know you either. Called them too. I didn't call them. Didn't you just say when you was, we was walking back there that you called him? No, no, I told, I told you that I pressed the silver button and it d automatically... You called us. I didn't call you. I, I tried to... press the silver button. What does the silver button us, say? Right? What does the silver button say? I don't know. I've never been in here. Well, <laughs> well then I guess you shouldn't say I, I called you. That's why when you say you hit the button, I said that don't need to come to us. That's exactly what I said. They did. I said they need to change that. They did. It came right to you. That's what I'm saying. I got it on recording as well. So there you have it. The suspected pervert was not allowed in the fire station to lurk around. And that's a fantastic thing. I don't even think he tried to make appointments. He showed no proof of that. He showed no proof of his 10 other successful visits at fire stations. So as usual, another frauditor is totally full of shit. Now, thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to protect your identity online, try Aura for free for 14 days by using my link in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!